The number of hospitalizations from the coronavirus are trending up again here in Indiana. Yeah, as of yesterday, 764 Hoosiers were in the hospital being treated for coronavirus. The availability of ICU beds and ventilators still remains steady, with 10% of ICU beds and about 2% of ventilators being used by COVID-19 patients. The State Department of Health reported another 452 coronavirus cases in the state today. That brings the total to over 52,000. Sadly, two more Hoosiers have died. Over 2,500 deaths have been reported statewide. 570,000 have been tested. While positive cases and hospitalizations are on the rise here in Indiana, the death rate is going down. CBS 4's Kayla Sullivan explains what that could mean and the data available for Hoosiers. There are more Hoosiers hospitalized with COVID-19 right now than at any point in nearly a month. The state is reporting 764, and many in the healthcare field aren't surprised by the increase. This is a once-in-a-century global pandemic. We'll have to do many dances of coming on and off social distancing. So by being informed, we can make good decisions to safely get through this. One way to stay informed every day is the state's website. It reveals daily data on COVID-19. The Regan Street Institute also has similar useful information. We have complementary information to uh, the state's dashboard. The first page gives a breakdown of hospitalizations and testing. The second shows color-coded trends in Indiana. Red regions indicate increase in counts. Green regions indicate decrease in counts. And then the yellow regions represent no real change. As you can see, positive tests are up. The state says it has a 9.1 positive rate. We were seeing about 4 to 5 percent. This can suggest that there is an increased prevalence or an increased number of uh, individuals with coronavirus in the community. The number of coronavirus deaths decreased in Indiana. The state reported two over the weekend. But infectious disease experts say while that is good, it shouldn't be taken as a sign people can slow precautions. So far, we've already seen around 2,500 deaths in just under 18 weeks with COVID. So that is almost 20 times as many deaths as we saw during the flu season. She says it doesn't mean the spread is stopping. They suspect it reflects the demographic infected. Our admissions are turning more towards the younger population. Um, that may have reduced mortality. The goal with these dashboards is to provide as much information possible so that individuals can make the choices that are right for them. Kayla Sullivan, CBS 4 News. Kayla, thank you. Matt